rainy season has arrived in the Philippines. Well, in the mall here, there's loads of different places for getting something to eat. But I picked this one because it's got a display of uh, what dishes they've got. So what will I have? Will I have the chicken? Or will I have the steak? Or will I have the chop? Can I have that one please? All very reasonably priced up there. Uh, my chops can come at something like, I don't know, under the 100 pesos for the looks of it. Uh, this one? Pork chop. Pork chop with rice. Okay. What else? Uh, have you got something to drink? At 10 pesos, sir. Choose Okay, I'll have one of those. Your choice. One order only, sir. One order only. Dining in, sir. Dining in. Dining in, yeah. Quite a good idea putting the meals out like that to let people see what they're getting. So my meals arrived and here's what I've got. I've got my small chop, some vegetables and some rice and a sort of a, a lime juice drink. I'll let you know how I get on with it. Oh, uh, 85 pesos it's cost me, which is uh, about a dollar fifty or one pound fifteen pence, something like that. Well, make up your own mind. Um, it wasn't bad. Uh, <coughs> rice has never been my favourite sort of thing, and uh, a lot of fat on the chop, but. Uh, I made the most of it. Not bad for a pound fifteen. Just at the chemist now, getting some uh, pieces of uh, medication that I've we only have the brand run out of. That will do. That will do. Uh, Okay, 50. I don't know, but I'll get my proper ones next week. 20. So this bandit here has just charged me 1,000 how much? 1,092.50 Wow, so expensive <laughs> and that's just for 10 days worth of a small part of my medication. She tried to give me a heart attack and then she <laughs> handed me the, the medication. You'll be on YouTube <laughs> in about two weeks. Your rhythm sir is like this. Ten milligram. Yeah. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten pieces, sir. Also Farex Simbastatin. Yeah. Ten milligram, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. <laughs> and then Farex Metoprolol, twenty pieces. That's correct. That's all. That's all. Thank goodness. Thank you very much, dear. So I've ventured out. I've got about a kilometre to walk along the main highway to get to the apartment or hotel that I've booked. So here we go. I'm just hoping it doesn't start fishing doing a rain again because it was belting down earlier on. But uh, yeah, it's not that far. 
50 minute walk. Well, the way things are going, I'm going faster than any taxi would have been. Right as you come down, there's the Felix residences. That's the 7-Eleven. And you come along to the, the right of it. And just round the corner here, there's a security man. And he'll take you up to the third floor. To the third floor for the Felix residence. Well, I've arrived at the Felix apartments. Security guard took me upstairs. There's a wee bit of work going on in the in the reception area, and it looks like the Scottish flag on the wall. <laughs> and here's the girls that's looking after my reservation. You are booked for a green room, and uh, your stay will be staying with us until July seven. Am I correct? No, I'm leaving. Leave July five. Tomorrow. Yeah, uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Only one night. Only one night. One three. Yes, yes. Yeah, Our on the website charge. it says one one six hundred sixty. Ah, yes, it is because of. Uh, yeah, I know booking dot com. Yes. Or yes. whoever. Wow, what great service! They took me to my room, showed me everything, asked, uh, told me if I needed anything. Uh, the service here is just great. Uh, here's a look in the lobby, and this is my room, the very first one on the left. Already got my bag in. It's closed. So you come into the room and to the right is the toilet and shower. I'll see if I've got a light here. Toilet and shower. I'll let you know what the pressure of the water is like. And the room, it's two single beds. There's a TV with a cable TV, I understand and a small desk and a chair. My goodness. Okay, and there's a wee open locker there for hanging gear and putting your bag. So this is a, a really nice room and I'm really pleased so far. Let's have a quick look, see what uh, the view's like. Uh, Oh, I don't know about a view, but at least it's got a window. <laughs> a lot of the places I uh, stay in just don't have a window in it at all. And this cost me, if you come directly to the building, it'll cost you uh, 1,130 pesos, or 1,160 pesos. Uh, somewhere around there. But, Doing it through Agoda, it's been 1,300. The reason I did it, did it through Agoda is because they're due me something like two or 3,000 pesos, but I've got to use it in hotels. But on their bloody website, they don't tell you which hotels do the little, uh, or take part in where you can use your, your points there or your pounds or whatever it is. Uh, but they're due me something like 3,000 3, pesos and uh, I keep using them because I'm hoping that one of the hotels I use is going to accept this voucher but none of them do. Is it a con? You decide. Well that's me ready to check out. The shower was really good. Uh, plenty of a strength in the water. Uh, and the, sh the shower head, I don't know what you call those ones that spread out like that. Anyway, it was really, really good. Although I burnt myself a couple of times because it was uh, uh, very hot. Uh, as far as the, the room, uh, what else? Um, oh, internet. Again, it's fiber optic, very, very fast. I uploaded four videos. Uh, uh, that you'll be watching over the next week and yeah they went all up in about half an hour not quite as good as Bulgaria, Bulgaria was about 5-10 minutes uh, unbelievable, unbelievably fast 
but I'm not complaining and now I know when I come back from Scotland that this is the place to come uh, to uh, post, my, post my videos. It's just a shame that I've got to stay overnight to do it. I must try and find somewhere that, you know, a cafe or something that I can just pop in and do it and then head home. Because although the hotels are cheap, it adds up when you're doing it uh, too much. Anyway, it's back to the boat. That's me ready to leave. Can I check out? Yes. Thank you. You need to check my room that I haven't yeah. damaged it. Uh, and I get 500 pesos. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes. But I, I, I broke the TV <laughs> and the window is smashed. <laughs> so that's a look out on the street from the reception area. Sorry? Taxi. No, I'm going to walk. You're going to walk. Yeah. I, I could go to the northern bus terminal, but I'm assuming the bus will come up past, what's that centre called along the road? Shopping centre? Say more? Shopping mall? Pacific, Pacific Mall. Yeah, Pacific Mall, that's the one. Yeah, I'm going to go there, cross the road, and I should be able to get the bus there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. My 500 pesos, which was a deposit to make sure I didn't wreck the room. Yes. Okay. Salamat. You're welcome. Bye bye. Yeah, so I'm out in the balcony now and I just thought I'd give you a summary of this place. Good internet. There's uh, cable TV, although it does tend to be uh, Filipino channels. Uh, very, very clean. Good water, good power, uh, good internet, uh, and the staff are uh, absolutely fantastic. Very helpful. Uh, down below, th there's no food or anything here, but down below there's a 7-Eleven where you can get uh, snacks and uh, have a couple of beers like I did last night. Um, You've got this busy road outside.